back into time. Mmm, drop! Let's take it back to the old school. Let's take it to Union Square. Let's take it back to the LQ. Wave your hands like you just don't care. Let's take it back to the old school. Back in the days, back in the days. I'm taking it back, come follow me. Back in the days, back in the days. CMS Comic Vet. What's up, everybody out there? It's your boy, CMS. And y'all know what's up. I'm back at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you just might learn something before we're done. Today is November 10th, 2021. And we get to the end of the year, y'all. I made it through. This was something on my bucket list, make a video every week. But anyway, before I start, I want to give a shout out to my subs, the 288 members of the Black Order, helping me to bring some balance to this pterodome. It's funny because it went up to 289, and then it went back down to 287, and then it finally settled back at 288. But it's all good. I get 200 plus views on all my videos. And some of these channels got a thousand subs and they can't even get a hundred. So it ain't no big deal to me. And I gotta give another shout out to my man, Stanley Kirby Jack, for suggesting this song, Crossroads by Bone Thugs and Harmony. And I'ma do my best not to mention you know who in this video. And somebody asked me to show my FOC pics. Y'all already know I ain't trying to be on no YouTube celebrity and making multiple videos. Y'all got more than enough YouTubers doing FOC videos, so you can go ahead and watch them. And please stop comparing my little channel to Jim Comics. I'm no FOMO, and Jim was a FOMO factory. Every book he mentioned immediately spiked and sold on eBay. But no book has ever spiked or sold tons on eBay just because I mentioned it. So I ain't nothing like Jim. So we're going to start off with the thing number one, the A cover. And I picked up six copies of this C cover. And I also got the 1 in 25. I got two copies of Venom number one. And I also got two copies of the 1 in 100. Because if that new character pans out to be something, this is going to be the book. There's so many store exclusives. I got two copies of Strange Academy number 13. This is Star Wars High Republic number 11. And I got three copies of Action Comics number 1036 because there was uh, first appearances in that too. I got the latest issue of The Joker, just the A cover. And I picked up two copies of Black Manta number three, the B cover. What's the furthest place from here? I picked up two copies of the A cover. And also got a Righteous Thirst for Vengeance number one. This is the second print. And also got the Matter of Oswald's Body number one. And one of the stores I go to regularly had a sale. You could buy two and you get one free for the um, current issues that they were trying to get off the floor. So I picked up three more copies of Star Wars High Republic number nine. This is the first cameo of Lorna D. And I got 12 copies of number 10, her first full appearance. Some of these are gonna be sent to CGC so that when this character blows up, I'll be ready to sell them. And also picked up Captain Marvel number 20, the first cameo of Big Mother. And I told y'all last week, I'm buying more of these. Four more copies of New Burn number one. And I picked up the uh, Black Cat annual number one. And I picked up three copies of the Thor annual number one. And I picked up nine copies of the Avengers Annual Number One. This is the first appearance of Multitude, but all of these are that Infinite Destiny, and I don't think they created these uh, characters for no reason. So we're gonna see what happens with them. Now, I know I promised not to mention You Know Who, 
But I'ma tell the truth, just in case you know who wants to act like he got the T'Challa son info from an inside source. On Monday, November 8th at about 7 a.m., Lizzie tweeted that she has some big news that will be posted on the Cosmic Circus website by 9 a.m. It was posted, and about 20 minutes later, um, Black Panther News tweeted it out too. This led to you know who's alert. But he sent that alert with a picture of Avengers number one from 2010. And you know what his sheep did after that. Remember him and Jim had people buying number six earlier this year for that same reason. But the problem is there are five different Azari, son of Black Panther and Storm. You got Earth TRN 591, 61616, 10943, 3116 and 555 326. So, which one is it? None of them are from the 616 universe, and we haven't even seen Storm yet, so don't get pumped out your money by you know who. So, everybody know how I feel about these top 10 shows. You get five different top 10s when you watch five different shows. But one of them seems to be based on actual sales data. And I started watching it and I see I had every last one of the top 10 this week. Including the runner up. This is Eternal number 5. Number 10 on the list was Moon Knight number 3, the Walmart variant. Number 9 was Eternals number 3. Number eight was Avengers 232. And number seven was Strange Tales 179, the first Pip the Troll. Number six was Marvel Premiere, number 10, the first Shuma Gorat. Number five was Thor 6, the second print. Number four was Morbius number one from the Midnight Suns. Number three, Werewolf by Night number one. Number two was Eternals number one. And number one was Thumbs number one. A clean sweep, the first time that's happened. So this video is already long enough, so there's not going to be a spec book. So I'll see you all next week on the same No FOMO channel at the same No FOMO time. And on that note, thanks for coming out. God bless and good night. I'll see you at the cross.